Ahsoka Tano was a Force-sensitive Togruta female former Jedi Padawan who, after the Clone Wars, helped establish a network of various rebel cells against the Galactic Empire. Tano was discovered on her homeworld of Shili by Jedi Master Plo Koon, who brought her to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant to receive Jedi training. Following the outbreak of the Clone Wars, Jedi Grand Master Yoda assigned the young Tano to be the Padawan learner of Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, who nicknamed her, Snips, when she joined him at the Battle of Christophsis. Whereas Tano was eager to prove herself, Skywalker had a reputation for recklessness, and they had a rather difficult start as master and apprentice. Yet they worked together to rescue Rotter, the son of crime lord Jabba Dazili Ichtiore, and returned Rotter to his father, thus facilitating a crucial alliance between the Hutt clan and the Galactic Republic. As a commander in the Grand Army of the Republic, Tano found a mentor in clone Captain Rex of the 501st Legion, with whom she and Skywalker collaborated to lead frontline campaigns against the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In her first command position at the Battle of Ryloth, Tano disobeyed orders and lost her entire squadron of pilots, but she rebounded and helped secure a victory at Ryloth. Her assignments pitted her against a variety of opponents, from General Grievous and Sith apprentice Asajj Ventress to bounty hunters such as Cad Bane and Aura Singh. Over time, she matured into a respected leader, contributing to key Republic victories like the Second Battle of Geonosis and the Battle of Morn Kala. She even died during a series of events on Mortis, but the daughter, a force wielder who personified the light side, sacrificed herself to bring Tano back to life. Tano gained much experience on and beyond the war front, leading a group of Jedi younglings to revolt against their Trandoshan captors, helping rescue a colony of Togrita from enslavement by the Zygerian slave empire, and serving as an advisor to the Onderon rebels and M- with her close friend, Lux Bonteri, among them and M- as they liberated their world from the Confederacy. In a stark turn of events, Tano was framed for the bombing of the Jedi Temple hangar and other homicides, and she escaped into the Coruscant underworld to clear her name. Though she formed an unlikely alliance with Asajj Ventress, she was detained by Republic forces and was consequently barred from the Jedi Order. Ultimately, Skywalker uncovered the true culprit, Tano's friend, and fellow Padawan Barris Offi, and prevented his former apprentice from being convicted of sedition. Nevertheless, the ordeal dislodged Tano's faith in the Jedi. She refused the Jedi High Council's offer to rejoin the Order instead of departing in search of a new path and becoming a force-sensitive outcast. Tano briefly returned to lead Republic forces during the Siege of Mandalore and faced Maul and his forces, although Order 66 was enacted shortly after the Sith Lord's capture and Tano. After freeing Rex from the control of Order 66, the two of them escaping the rest of her 501st Division. Faking her death, she was forced into hiding. After the Galactic Empire came to power, Tano went into hiding on Thabiska and Rada disguised as Ashla. Following the evacuation of Rada, Tano joined Senator Bail Organa's growing rebel movement. She became the manager of his intelligence network and adopted the codename Fulcrum. As Fulcrum, Tano provided intelligence to various rebel factions including Hera Sundula's Spectre's rebel cell. Tano took a particular interest in Sundula's rebels because one of their members, a Jedi named Kanan Jarrus, had begun to train his own Padawan, Ezra Bridger. In addition, Tano's efforts against the Empire brought her into contact with the Dark Lord of the Sith Darth Vader, who, unknown to her, was actually her former master, Anakin Skywalker, as well as the Imperial Inquisitors known as the Fifth Brother and the Seventh Sister, but it also gave her the chance to reunite with Rex. Following the mission to Malachor, Tano became lost to the rubble and shadows of the Sith Temple and was believed by many, including Jarrus and Bridger, to have perished during a duel with Darth Vader. However, Tano was unexpectedly saved from Vader's wrath by a future Ezra Bridger, who pulled her through a portal into the world between worlds, a dimension of the Force connecting all time and space. After a confrontation with Darth Sidious, who desired access to the dimension, Tano returned to her time promising Bridger that she would find him once she returned. After the end of the Galactic Civil War, Tano returned to a freed Lothal and joined Sabine Wren in her quest to find a missing Bridger, who had disappeared during the liberation of Lothal. Tano later journeyed to the city of Caledon on the forest planet Corvus looking for information on the location of Grand Admiral Thrawn, 
who had disappeared alongside Bridger, from Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth. Needing to rescue the city from Elsbeth's rule, she allied herself with the Mandalorian Din Djarin, who had been on a quest to bring the Force-sensitive youngling Grogu to the Jedi. After freeing Kaladin, Tano refused to train Grogu and directed Jaren to the planet Tython instead. She later visited Luke Skywalker at his new Jedi Temple and, when Skywalker found Grogu in his care following a summons from the Seeing Stone, oversaw his training of the child temporarily. Decades after Tano began her search, her voice joined a multitude of Jedi spirits to guide the young Jedi Rey during the final battle of the First Order Resistance War. Ahsoka inspired Rey to stand up to a resurrected Darth Sidious and destroy him once and for all. <laughs>